Hey, wonderful people. The world has changed. Today, something truly incredible in the UAP science and the weaponization of interesting physics has happened. I could not believe my eyes when I read about making light magnetic. Now you all know I knock on about plasma and about misinformation and about countermeasures and how air forces around the world are making stuff that appears real out of 3D visualizations. And one technique is focused plasma. It relates all back to radar and Foo Fighters and laser-induced plasma making dots in the sky like an old TV which draws 3D visualizations. So I thought, <laughs> and I still think that that was the kind of technology that was being tested off Catalina Island, off San Diego by the US Navy. And Wiley and I know it is being, oh, experimented by the RAF BAE systems in making a countermeasure loyal wingman. But just imagine, hold everything. Hold the news. Magnetic light, yes. So light, photons, aren't actually particles, they behave both as a wave and a particle, we know that from Albert Einstein, but they have no measurable mass. But if you can trap them in a metamaterial, metamaterial? A metamaterial is a material that interacts with the electromagnetic spectrum, whether it's audio to stop submarines being heard underwater by coating them in rubber, absorbing the sonar sound wave. Bing! Woof! Instead of ping pong. Metamaterial. Metamaterial up in the sky that can absorb radar energy in centimeter wavelength, microwave wa wavelength, to radar. Bing! Whew. Making planes disappear. Metamaterial. Things that coats, that interferes redirects, doesn't absorb, but changes the direction of the electromagnetic spectrum. And very secretly in Britain, out of Imperial College London, light absorbing metamaterials, clothing and coatings for tanks that absorb light. Wouldn't work in the daytime, it would just be a black thing. But at night, imagine a jet black soldier or a tank you wouldn't know it was there. But what I read today and what I'm sharing with you now is a game changer. I include a link in the description to the original article. But let me tell you what happened today. Magnetic light. <laughs> Popular Mechanics by Darren Orff. Scientists trapped light inside a metamaterial and made it 10 times more magnetic. Finding new ways to control light and magnetism will enable new technologies that we never thought possible. Scientists from City College New York, CCYN, developed a way to effectively trap light inside a metamaterial and in turn make it magnetic. This breakthrough could lead to the creation of technologies like magnetic lasers that can leverage strong magneto-optical interactions. Modern life is made possible by electromagnetism. Any piece of technology you use today uses some form of electromagnetic energy that has been discovered over the centuries. But finding new ways to manipulate light, which is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and magnetism combined will enable the creation of technologies we can't yet imagine. 
So how did they do it? Well, the metamaterial used was a semiconductor layered with chromium, sulfur and bromine, and it is a class known as van der Waals, named after the Dutch physicist. These materials contain attributes not commonly found in naturally occurring materials. That's why we look at things that fall from space. Crucially, this metamaterial interacts with both light and other particles. It's these optical interactions that trap light inside the material in a magnetic bubble. Since light then bounces back and forth inside the metamaterial like a magnet, it is possible to apply an external magnetic field to alter the frequency of the light and so change its color and its appearance. This, for the first time, shows a magneto-optic response. Oh, it changes the world. Technological applications of this idea are massive. We can now make light steerable in space, in our atmosphere. You can steer an object made of light from the ground. You can make something appear in our atmosphere and be controlled, a light emitting object that can be positioned and change color to any color you want. You can make things appear out of thin air. That sounds like a very game-changing technology to me. Oh, my head is spinning. If magnetic light is a thing, if it's actually possible with metamaterials to make light frequencies um, charged, magnetic, you can steer it. You can make things appear out of the blue. <laughs> you can make the proverbial UAP. If you're an alien or now, if you're in DARPA, <laughs> this changes everything. And so much of modern physics, 21st century physics, is dark, is weaponized, is not available to you. That's what I'm striving to bring to you, the YouTube social media audience, to tell you what's really out there. Thanks for watching.